Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Um, to our next conversation this morning, our first major conversation, actually. There are indications that despite the insistence of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, or ASU, uh, to continue with its lingering strike, the federal government of Nigeria is set to reopen the shut universities. Yes, according to sources cited by newspapers, in particular uh, the Vanga newspaper, uh, it says the federal government through the Ministry of Education uh, says the academic staff are not the only set of workers in the university system and since non-academic staff are ready to go back to work, the universities should no longer be shut. Well, this is just as a meeting of pro-chancellors of the vice and vice-chancellors of federal universities have been invited for a meeting slated next Tuesday at the National Universities Commission Complex in Abuja. Also, the chairman of governing councils of these federal universities will be at that meeting. They are to meet with the Minister of Education, Malam Adamu Adamu. Now, we're asking, what do these latest developments portend for the lingering ASU strike, which was recently made indefinite? I'm glad to say, joining us this, pro this morning on the program is uh, the chairman of the Academic Staff Union of Universities at the University of Abuja, Dr. Kasim Umar is his name. Uh, good morning to you, Dr. Omar, and thank you very much for your time. Good morning. Okay. Um, what, what, what would you say as a, a member of the neck of ASU to this latest move, if there's any truth to it? Because, of course, you've not heard officially from the Ministry of Education. Um, but what are your thoughts on this, this uh, rumored move to reopen the universities and the meeting uh, that the minister will have with the pro-chancellors, the vice-chancellors, and the chairman of governing councils? Well, um, we are not invited to the meeting, and uh, we are not part of the committee of uh, vice-chancellors and pro-chancellors. The minister of education decided to, to invite the, the, the pro-chancellors and the vice-chancellors. What whatever may be the outcome and decision, I don't think that has anything to do with our price because our our demand has not been attended to. And you know, you recall that our next event on the 28th of August 2022, and we took a decision to transmute the role over strike to the definite fight. Okay. Uh, let's talk about, you You said that your demands have not been met, but uh, the federal government's representative and spokesperson saying that 80% of your request has been met. And if you are going to score that, that's like an A, you know, for any subject or an examination. Why is ASU still bent on the strike? Well, I will the next met and... Uh, analyzed, deliberated, extensively on a mere statement read by the Minister of Education on informal meetings. Because as we have consigned all the statements in that meeting on the 16th of August 2022 was just a promising made an insult to our union. And if I may take you through, you see, I said all our demands being mentioned by him are all in promising mode. Like for instance, he did mention and promise that revitalization fund of 170 billion will be released and it will be included in 2023 budget when they are out of office. Two, also promise that the EA allowance of the university based workers. 50 billion naira will be allocated to it again to be included in 2023 budget. Also, 30,000 and 60,000 increments for salary uh, uh, for salary uh, uh, lecturer to also to be included in the budget. And our you know even see this one as as an insult and there. In, we told him we are rejecting this because it does not pass through the collective bargain, bargaining as stipulated in the Nigerian law. In fact, let, 
let me tell you that the same federal government set up two committees. In fact, three committees. Babalaki Committee, 2017. Uh, to, uh, to, after three years, Moses we'll leave the Brink Committee, 2020. 2021 again, in the Brink Committee. And all this one negotiated with us and had a drafted agreement with passed through collective bargaining. They jettisoned that and they are coming with this miserable award to our union. We reject it and we are told you. Number four, Utah. He told us categorically that Utah performed well in the test organized by the state federal government. And, and thereby, they are accepting that Utah, but they are not going to put it as a documentary fact. Visitation panel report is to be released soon. It will surprise you that that one does not even does, does not need money. Proliferation of Nigeria University, it does not involve finances. All this we are telling you, there is no any documentary evidence on how best they could attend to all these issues. And now you are saying 80% of our problem has been resolved. We are challenging them, let them bring it out to Nigeria. And show us where they sign and we sign to a collective bargaining. All right, uh, uh, Dr. Umar, you, so you are saying that um, this, this talk by the, not just the Minister of Education, but other officials that um, almost saw the demands of us who have been acceded to, the, there's only a small issue of um, uh, uh, the no work, no pay policy of the federal government, which is the sticking point. You're saying that is not true. Now, a question I have for you, Dr. Omar, is um, if, if it turns out the federal government is able to document these agreements concretely like you'd like them to do and get to the point where all these things are sorted out, will the union be willing to go back to the classroom without receiving the salaries for the months they've been on strike in adherence with the, um, uh, the, the labor rules on no work, no pay, as they call it? Yeah, that, in fact, I don't, I don't want us to divide our attention to the issue of hotel salary. Because with the same federal government brought this to deceive Nigerians that we are more concerned about our six month salary. In fact, our job is a so factory job. So I don't even want to debate on that. But the fact is that we are telling you that all the demands put before the government have not been met through the collective bargaining as enshrined in the law. Look, if we look at the historical fact of collective bargaining in this country, as far back to 1981, this, that is a federal government also agreement under late Alagishon Sagari It established the principle of collective bargaining based on the wages board and industrial council. The three, number one of 1973. And if you look at all the trade dispute acts of 1976, a ILO Convention 1948, 1988, 1981, and so on, nobody comes and does no paper on you without getting the collecting bargaining. So if you are giving us, you are just announcing, you have not passed through the process. And through this demand of the union, you cannot just sit down and award 30,000 naira, 50,000 naira to us. Also, well, let's get to the crux of the conversation. I mean, the fact that uh, despite the strike that's still ongoing, uh, there might just be plans for the federal government to reopen short universities. We understand that the non academic staff union, I mean, you have the SANU and the NASU. Uh, you know, calling off the strike. These are non-academic uh, staff. But do you think that this is actually possible? And if it's possible, how can it be? I, I first am concerned, again, I am not chairman of non-academic staff. I am chairman or I am sitting on ASU. 
And uh, as far as we were concerned, we did not close down the university. We only we do one aspect of our responsibility, which is teaching. And we are still saying we are not going to teach. No, but the, the issue is that there are some lecturers, according to the reports, that are ready to work. And so you have the non-academic staff who are also willing to go back, you know, to to school. So the government is saying that there are some lecturers no. that are willing to work. I'm asking, how does this work? How does this happen? You are chairman, you know, of the... Uh, you're chairman of ASU in the University of Abuja, right? And so it's yeah. possible that some of your lecturers are willing to go back to class. How is you this see, going to happen? That, is there a possibility that some lecturers that would is, go that back is, to the classroom? That is mere speculation. It is mere speculation. We are saying, in, like for instance, University of Abuja, we have 617 academic staff who are members of our union. And we are telling you we are on strike. And we are withdrawing the service of teaching. And you are saying some members, that is speculation. All right, uh, Doc, you, you're saying it's speculation, but I mean, I'm sure you're aware, um, you know, as we all are, that there is a, a, a rival union that is soon coming up called the Congress of Nigerian University Academics, uh, or the Congress of University Academics, whichever you want to call it, CONWA. Um, I'm sure these lecturers are not uh, phantom uh, lecturers, or they're not imposters. These are your colleagues in the university system, uh, federal universities in the country. So, um, sh I mean, when you say that it's a mere speculation, um, um, can, can you speak to this? Because we, we have this group. They've actually been lobbying for the past four years for the federal government to uh, give them recognition. Look, I ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Can you have a union of the same platform, the same profession? Please, answer this question. In the university, hmm. to have a union of an academic staff, then you have another phone one in December. Is that union going to be registered by law? Is that what the state union act says? Look, I don't want to comment about that. Because it seems to me that, you see, a mere association is saying they are, get, they are trying to get their registration. And these are a member that will visit me. So if they feel, let them get the, 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 the their union register or the association register, and let us see. Why are they not teaching since we embark on site since 14th of February 2000 and 2000, uh, 2022? Why are they not teaching? If they yeah. actually they exist, they yeah, it, only it, exist in few numbers in effect. Doc, is it, not, is it not possible that some of the university workers are just tired of... of of this strike. I mean, Nasu is saying they're going to go back. Uh, Sano is saying they are, they are going to go back. The government, they've agreed with the government. And some will say maybe Asu is stretching this a bit too far. And when you look at um, the art of um, dispute resolution, you know, conflict resolution, sometimes uh, both parties, even the party that is in the right, will have to accede one or two things just to ensure that the conflict is resolved. And some may say Asu is stretching this too far. Bearing in mind that that, that your, chair, your, chair, your national president has admitted that um, the federal government may, uh, it may, may be true that they have agreed to, to approve uh, uh, the funds for revitalization, also approving the UTAS. And what he's saying that all that is left is that they need to see something on paper. You know? so, so with some of these things being agreed on, um, they've received the report of the Nimi Briggs Committee. They're saying they're going to implement it. Uh, shouldn't you, in good faith, call up the strike no. and say, we want to give them time to, look, to, to look, put this into action? Look, I, I have told you the historical fact of collective bargaining. You don't come and read just like a reading your reading newspaper to an academia. And you are saying that that is collective bargaining? What we are saying, we are not telling you that government did not say he wanted to 
uh, is going to he promised to pay 170 billion for revitalization. But we are telling you that they said 2023, where the, why they will not be in power again. And again, we are telling you that all these things being said does not pass through collective bargaining. But, but didn't you have an agreement with the Namibrix committee on these, on these thank issues? You, thank, you, thank you very much. That is where we are saying, is that the agreement they work on? The answer is no. Well, we have to go now, uh, Dr. Kashima Umar. Thank you so much. We're really out of time, but uh, we hope that we'll have some other time to talk about this. Thank you very much. Well, we've been speaking with Dr. Kashima Umar, who's the chairman ASU in University of Abuja, right there. Thank you so much for your time. We'll take a break. When we return, we're hoping that we can continue with the second conversation. Please stay with us.